Okay, in the last video we found all of these things that we're dealing with this particular graph. We're going to try um, another one here. So let's see, and we're going to talk about the domain, the range, and all of these good things. So again though, I want to make sure that we can see that in this drawing they have a, dot, a dashed red line here, and then we have another one actually running sideways here kind of um, crisscross there. Okay, so as far as the domain, remember domain is talking about the X's. Well, again, remember that this graph is going out forever and ever here, and then also following along this. So eventually we're going to be covering all of the x-axis with the exception of this spot right here. So our domain would be the set of all x's such that x cannot equal 0, but everything else will work. That x equals 0 acts as a vertical asymptote in this problem. So I'm going to go ahead and put that down, that that's a vertical asymptote. Okay, now for the range. Remember, range is talking about the y values. So looking at our graph itself, it starts way down here at negative infinity, and then it travels up until it hits this high point, which has a y value of negative 2. And then it, this part of the graph then turns around and goes back down. We don't have any more y values until we hit this y value of 2. So I have to join that with 2 to infinity. Okay. Now let's talk about the x-intercept and the y-intercept. Because there are no points all along and through the center here, there are no x-intercepts in this problem. And also, because the y-axis is our vertical asymptote, that means that we do not have any y-intercepts in this one either. Okay, so now we're down to horizontal and oblique asymptotes. Looking at the drawing that they have here, they do not have a red da dotted line, dashed line, going through here. That's not indicating any horizontal asymptotes at all. We do, though, have an actual oblique asymptote here. Now, this is an a line, so we have to write it in equation form. So this would be y equals our y-intercept is 0. So remember, our, our, our lines come in the form of mx plus b. So if our y-intercept is 0, we won't have a b value. And we need to find our slope. Well, on this line, we have a point right here at 1, negative 1. So that says that we are rising down 1 and running 1. That tells us that our slope is negative 1. So our equation would be y equals negative x. Let's try and get another one in as we go. Um, here we have another set, so I'm going to draw in the, or make more prof, you know, found those um, red dashed lines there. For our domain, we would have all of the x's except these spots here. So our domain would be the set of all x's such that x cannot equal a negative 1 and x cannot equal a positive 1. That's because those are vertical asymptotes. x equals negative 1 and x equals 1. For our range, we see that we have a red dashed line here, which is our horizontal asymptote at y equals 0. But the graph is actually crossing through that. This is more one of those more spongy asymptotes. So actually, our range here is all real numbers, because this graph goes from negative infinity all the way to positive infinity. Our x-intercept and our y-intercept is actually the exact same thing here, because this is the only place that it's crossing the x-axis and the y-axis. And notice that our graph doesn't have any of the dashed, um, you know, cross lines, so we don't have an oblique asymptote. 